back to JRen's Talks. Today we are going to look at Supreme's drop for week 14 um, and see which items are hype, which are not, the retail prices, some resale predictions, and my personal opinions. As you can see, I have a little bit of a different setup um, today, tomorrow, this week. Hopefully soon I will have my room completely redone. I want to change up everything um, and so that I can put everything that I want up. Um, but right now, this is what we got. This is my new monitor. Um, I don't know, I just, it's just here, so it's just in the background. But it's really sweet, and I made a video about it, but unfortunately, like, my camera died or something halfway through the unboxing. It doesn't matter. It's not anything special, but it's pretty sweet. Oh, wow. It's pretty sweet, and uh, it'll make editing a lot easier. Um, so I'm not trying to, like, you know, look at this. Like, this is just how I'm sitting. All right? So, we're gonna go over this week's drop. Um, actually, this week I was selected to go to the Supreme store in Manhattan, New York, um, but I unfortunately just didn't have, I don't know, like, the drop list was kinda already out, there wasn't anything hype, and my parents and my friends that I wanted to come weren't able to, so I kinda wanna make it a day out of it, you know, go and visit New York. It's my first time going to New York, so I wanted to make sure it was something special, and all my friends were, uh, some of them are still at school, some have meetings, so I was like, you know what, we'll try to get it another time. Um, but it's my first time ever registering for a Supreme in-store drop um, because of school and everything, so the fact that I was selected at the first one um, is actually pretty dope. So um, hopefully, you know, this summer I'm definitely going to try to keep going. Um, but we're just going to look at this week's drop, see what's hype, what's not. Let's get into it. First off, we have these orb sunglasses. These are just weird. Um, there's four colorways. The retail is $148. Um, they just look like, like you're a bug or something. Um, I would not pick these up. Um, they're not going to do anything for resale. But again, I mean, summertime is up, you know, upon us. If you need sunglasses, there's another uh, selection of them coming up. So you know, maybe you want to go for those. But here's an option. Um, next up, we have this Supreme Champion collab um, sweatpant for $148 also, and it's just the one colorway, um, that blue colorway. Right now, this is a mock-up only, so this is not official pictures, but this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Um, but, I mean, honestly, they're not terrible. I mean, I wish they were like black or gray or white, but, I mean, they're not terrible. Then we have the Marvin sunglasses. These are literally just, you know, four colorways. These are actually pretty sick. I like the red ones, I like the black ones. But they're $198. Like, bro, if I'm spending $200 on some sunglasses, I'm about to get, like, Gucci. Like, straight up, I'm about to get Louis Vuitton. Like, bro, they're not even anything crazy with these. So, I mean, resale, not there at all. But if you need sunglasses, this might be the way to go. Next up, we have a mock-up of a Supreme Champion t-shirt. Um, this thing's actually kind of cool. I love it. Um, right now, it's only showing the white colorway with the Champion logo and then Supreme over top. Um, it's $48, so this might be something that you just cop for personal, um, but it might do well for resale. I don't really see it doing anything amazing, but um, I mean, for, with the low retail of $48, I know that sounds like, what, low $48? I mean, some t-shirts are like $78 from Supreme, so $48 with shipping, that's like $60. That's not terrible. You sell it for $100, you're making $40, and um, it's really something I'm, I'm very interested in. I love how at the bottom it has like Champion, like the little tag logo at the bottom. I think it looks sweet, so definitely something I might go for. And along with that, we also have the Supreme Champion Chrome Crew Neck. And right now, this is a mock-up again. Um, I think this is pretty fire. It's $148. And again, it's only showing us that blue colorway, but it is pretty nice. I really do like it. Um, the giant logo with Supreme. Everything from for uh, Champion this season has just been like a little logo. It doesn't even say Supreme. So the fact that there's giant Supreme logos, giant Supreme our champion logos, it just looks really nice. Um, then we have another pair of sunglasses. These are the River sunglasses for $188, and it's coming in three colorways. These aren't terrible. I mean, these are kind of pimps. I kind of like these. Um, they're kind of weird. I would have to try these on um, to buy them. I don't think I could just spend $188 on sunglasses that I did not put on previously, but they're pretty sweet, so it might be something you like. Next up, we have this metallic logo corduroy five panel coming in six colorways. And these are actually kind of cool. Like I like how it says Supreme and it has this giant, like almost looks like a Nike check um, on there. Definitely the white one's kind of cool, but uh, for $44, mm, 
I don't know, not gonna do great for resell, so I'm just gonna let that sit. I mean, they're just they're just doo-doo. Then we have another crappy hat. We have this pebble leathered camp cap. I mean, it's, it's just weird. $78 for a leather hat, which I don't even think, I don't know, it's gotta be heavy as can be. Like, it's gonna be a thick hat on your head, and they're really, the colors are stupid. I mean, silver is probably the coolest one, but again, who wants to have like a silver hat? You look like the Tin Man or something from Wizard of Oz. Like, it just looks weird. I don't like it at all. It's definitely passing on those. Then we have something that I just could not, bruh. We have these Clarks. Supreme and Clarks did a collab. It's the Bandana Wallabies, is what they're called. Wallaby, I mean, bruh, just look at them. They're weird, they're whack. Their retail is 198. Like if they were 65 bucks, I'd be like, you know what, I could wear them around the house or something. I don't even wanna talk about it. Like, four colorways, red, blue, tan, black. I mean, if there was the North Face bandana, it would go dummy, like everyone would buy that, obviously. But these are just ugly, like they're just so ugly. Um, so yeah, not gonna do great for resale. We'll probably just sit on the website the entire week. If they sell out, I mean, I'll be surprised, but. Next up, we have this Dazzle chest stripe top coming in four colorways for $98. And this is literally just a football jersey that just doesn't have anything like logos or anything. It literally just says Supreme on the V-neck collar. Everything else is just a basic thing that you'd find at like a Walmart or something. $98 for this shirt, not going for it at all. It's not gonna resell at all. I mean, if you like football or what, I don't know. I don't know who would buy this, but um, if you like this or not, but if you do, you know, good chance of getting it. Then we have this Gons Map Denim Painter Pant. Now, we've, we've seen these this design, and it's really just weird. After we're looking at it again, it literally just says, like, curse words and, like, just bad words all over it as street. So it would be, like, butt street, but, you know, it wouldn't say butt, or it would be, you know, whatever. And it's just, I don't want that on my clothing. I think it's whack. Um, but $158 for these pants that just curse all over it. Maybe you think it's a flex, I think it's stupid, but um, not gonna do great for resale, so definitely gonna be personal. Then we have this flower shirt. I actually love this shirt, it's 168. I wish it was just 68, because I would actually probably cop it. I just think it's fire, like, it just looks so cool. Definitely in the white colorway and the black colorway. I could just see me just chilling out at the beach, you know, after, you know, late night, sun's going down, you're just chilling, you got this dope shirt, but, uh, with that high retail of 168, not gonna do great for resale, and it's just not gonna do good overall. Next up, we have this patchwork tie-dye sweatpant. This is to go along with the sweatshirt, which is coming up. Um, actually, it's the most hyped item the sweatshirt is, but um, these are the go with them for $168. I mean, these aren't terrible, I think they're crazy, but they're definitely, patchwork is in. Like, the last week, the patchwork jacket like sold out in four seconds or something ridiculous, and is doing amazing on resale, so, would this do the same, have the same trend? Sweatpants, I'm gonna say no. I mean, you're definitely gonna make money, maybe 30 to $50 if you get the right size, but like, I don't know about these. I really don't think these are gonna do amazing, but I mean, I've been wrong. I mean, the patchwork I thought last week was gonna be trash, and it actually was the first to sell out. So, I don't know, maybe this patchwork trend will keep going. Next up, we have this Bella Rayon shirt, um, coming in two colorways for $168. And it just has the girl with like the guy like on her neck like looks like he's about to bite her neck like I don't know it's weird I'm not getting this uh, not gonna do great for resale and we're gonna see this design later um, but to me it's just like okay like okay am I gonna wear that no um, then we have this wrist logo hooded sweatshirt and I actually do like this $158 six colorways and it's just interesting. I mean, I've never seen anything like this on a sweatshirt where it's literally blank, but at the wrist we have the logo. I mean, if I'm buying a Supreme sweatshirt, I don't want my logo at the wrist. I want it on the chest. I want box logo. I want arc. I want something like, you know, that rips, you know, name, you know, name Supreme everywhere. Um, but this is on the wrist. So, I mean, if you're just going to be like, oh, look at the, no. Um, but maybe a personal for you. Definitely the white colorway with the red is, it's just fire. I love it. Um, and that blue one, that's sweet also. So, this might be a personal, not gonna do great for resale. Next up, we have this crinkled jacket coming in three colorways for $248. Uh, it really, they're, they're nice, like the red and the black, they're just fire, but like, 
It just looks weird to me. Like it, the shine, it just looks like plastic. You ever see like little kids with the backpacks that are like completely clear? Like that's what I feel like this is gonna be like. Definitely not going for this. I don't see it doing a base for resale either. So you can let that sit. Next up we have the Gons Map Denim Tote. So it's that design with all the curse word streets um, in two colorways for $88 each. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it says Supreme in like a box logo, which all the other designs don't have. So maybe this is nice. But again, I don't want something that says all that stuff on it. And then following that up, like right after it, we have the Gons Matte Work Jacket. So it's literally the same thing. $188, excuse me. Two colorways, same, the black and the blue. And it just has all those curse word streets on it. So if you want to be dripped out and have like the entire thing, like bag, jacket, pants, I mean, maybe you go for it. I just think it's weird. Definitely letting that sit. Next up, we have this Athletic Label T. Um, they come out with this every single year, it feels like. Um, there's like 10 colorways, um, and all it is, it's just a regular t-shirt with a little thing at the bottom that says like, Supreme. That's it. Um, $68. It might be a personal for you if you just haven't cooked up anything all season, and you just want a shirt or something from season. Uh, summer, spring, or what are we in? Spring, summer, I don't even know. 2019. Uh, this would be something you want to go for but like not gonna do great for resale I think your best bet is probably the white and that camo but uh, bruh it's just weak and it's low-key a trash week I'm not gonna lie this week is actually buns um, that was another reason why I didn't want to go to Supreme I didn't want to drive you know two hours or whatever to New York just to wait in line and then have to buy one of these shirts because like everything else is sold out um, then we have the Bella Tau. Again, it just says Supreme. Um, I do like how it says Giant Supreme on there, but again, this is just weird. Like, what is this guy doing? Like, he's about to bite her, kiss her, what is he? It just looks weird, and I don't like it um, at all. And it's $78 for a towel. That probably costs $10 to make. So, definitely not copying that. I'm gonna let that sit. Um, I mean, it might resell for like 100, but I don't see it doing anything like over that. Then we have the most hyped item. This is that patchwork tie-dye hooded sweatshirt coming in that one colorway for $188. This is your best bet for resale. If you get a small or an XL or a large and a medium in that order, I mean, you're, you're gonna make some decent money. Um, I could see this selling for 260 tops, 300 maybe at like craziest, but this is the most hyped. I mean, the patchwork, like I said, the patchwork thing is just going crazy this um, you know season. And you know, here's another one. I actually think it's fire. Like, I would never wear it, but I think it's cool. Like, it's one of those things. Like, I'm not buying for personal, but for resale, I might have to pick this up. Um, if you're able to get more than one, definitely, you know, some money to be made there. Um, but that's gonna wrap it up. Like, that's this week. It's pretty trash, low key. Um, but there's definitely something in there that everyone could find that they like. You know, maybe you need some sunglasses, a jacket, a bag, a sweatshirt, a towel, anything you need. Pretty much this, you know, this week is uh, it's dropping. There was rumor that the drum set was going to come out this week, um, but I'm not seeing that happening since this is the official list. But it might sneak in there last minute. Again, follow at copsjrens on Twitter, and I'll repost the entire drop list um, at the end uh, when it's like official, official, so you don't miss out on anything. But that's going to wrap it up. That's the end of this uh, week. Um, so hopefully you cop something you want or cop something that's going to resell. Um, have an awesome week, and I'm glad to be back. I hope you missed me. If you didn't, well, uh, I don't know what I was going to say there if you didn't miss me. Uh, but hopefully um, in the next week or two, um, I'll be in a better location that will have cool stuff behind me instead of a monitor. And, I mean, Beatles is good. You know, Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't, but the Beatles albums are back there. Uh, but I definitely have some cool stuff. Um, so, yeah.